Okay, let's talk about the AccuPlacer elementary algebra exam. So uh, if you're watching this video, you're probably uh, interested in the AccuPlacer. Now there's a different type of AccuPlacer test and um, as you probably already know, these, are, these tests are um, designed um, to basically assess where you're at in your current knowledge and skills for placements into courses and various programs. So it's very important that you do as best as you can on these tests because it's going to determine your starting point uh, into some sort of secondary education. So with that being said, we're going to talk about the elementary algebra exam and just kind of generally talk about what type of math is on the exam and how to approach it. So if you're new to my channel, um, I do a ton of videos, hundreds of videos on various type of math topics and a lot on different type of test as well. So um, uh, hopefully if you like my teaching style, you know, you may consider subscribing um, and you'll get a lot more additional information that will help you prepare. Additionally, um, I do have a specific course for the AccuPlacer Elementary um, Algebra exam. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link in the description. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So AccuPlacer Elementary Algebra. So what type of math is on the exam? Well, clearly there's going to be algebra. Right? That's the focus of the exam. But I think what could throw people off is this word here, elementary. Okay, so that kind of sounds like basic, right? Elementary algebra, basic algebra. Well, can be a little deceiving, okay? more. I think a good way to think of what is a good um, uh, level of algebra for this exam would be Algebra 1, okay? An Algebra 1 course is probably pretty comparable to what you're going to need for the AccuPlacer Elementary algebra exam okay so algebra one is typically taken in the ninth grade okay for most students uh, this could vary some more advanced students can take it in the eighth grade but typically this is like freshman high school algebra and my background being a math teacher i taught this course for many many years uh this is a comprehensive course it's like, well, it's just basic algebra. No, basic algebra covers many courses. Matter of fact, most Algebra 1 courses, and this is, uh, again, what you're going to pretty much need to cover to really do well on this exam, and you want to do as well as possible because you don't want to risk being, like, marginally prepared and then go and take an exam and then failing. That's the worst thing you could do because you're wasting your time and money, and then you know, unfortunately what can happen is then you get placed into the, a lower level course or a different part of your program. Now you have to spend longer to complete your program and spend more money. So it, it definitely is a huge payoff to prepare for these exams. Okay. But again, going back to this algebra one course, generally those, those courses could be like 14, 15 chapters long. Okay. And they take a good academic year to cover nine, 10 months. So what am I saying? I'm saying that don't be deceived by this word elementary. If you know some basic algebra and you feel like, okay, I'm, I'm pretty good. That's not going to be enough to really um, do really well on this test. Okay. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the things, the big picture things that you're going to need to know for this exam. And this is not all inclusive. Again, uh, this is why you're going to have to really get into a good study uh, program, get some good study material, whether a book, uh, whether you go take a course or you want to take a course like mine um, that's like, specifically designed for this exam. You know, but you're going to need something to study from. OK, just kind of doing it on your own is probably not going to be recommended. All right. So algebra one. All right. Again, that's pretty much the level that you're, you're going to want to master to do well on this exam. So. Some of the things you're going to need to know is your obviously your basics. Okay, so what would that be? Things like the order of operations. Let's kind of just do it like this: order of operations. So if I gave you something like this, negative three ten divided by two minus seven plus six squared all divided by three minus uh, eight divided by negative two. OK, you should be able to do this confidently. Now, that's what we call the order of operations. A lot of math students, even at a higher level than algebra one, they struggle sometimes with this. They think it's basic, 
But guess what? Those basic things are usually things that are going to get you in trouble, okay? Because people don't have them quite mastered. So, by the way, too, if you're taking um, Accuplacer, uh, the arithmetic, the more basic level course, this is going to, these are the type of questions you're going to really have to master, okay? So this is extremely important. So just because it's like the basic fundamental part of the course doesn't mean that it's just like really simple. Like you really have to know, uh, it's more not, not knowing the the concepts, it's practice, okay? Practicing a lot of problems so you make sure you, you can confidently get these things right. Okay, so the order of operations, um, real numbers, Okay, and I'm just kind of scribbling here. Just we're, again, we're just doing a quick overview. Real numbers are your positive and negative numbers. All this kind of ties into a, a kind of problems like this. All right, so real numbers, how to uh, add, subtract, multiply, divide, positive and negative numbers. A huge thing is going to be equations. All right, equations. And let's talk about this over here. Let me just erase all this. Because there's various types of equations in algebra. So let's just talk about this topic because this is going to probably cover at least half of what is going to be kind of covered on the exam. Okay, so when you have like linear equations, real basic equations like this. So if you know how to solve something like that, that's excellent. But those are the only, these are not the only type of equations. Here I'll give you another example of something that you would need to be able to solve. So this is another type of what we call a linear equation. These are more the basic starting type of equations you need to, you're really going to need to know how to master okay, for this exam. But again, there's all types of other equations in Algebra 1. Uh, another one would be quadratic equations, something like this, 2x squared minus 8x plus 1. Okay. So here, this type of equation, actually this is not an equation, let's make it an equation, equals zero. So this type of equation, the way we approach it is totally different than the way we approach these type of equations, okay? So equations are a big, big topic in algebra, and you're gonna need to know how to you know, handle various types of equations. Let's, let's take a look at another type of equation. Let's do it over here. Let's say 4x plus one over two equals three fifths. Okay, so this is an example of a rational equation or proportion. You're going to know how to handle that. And you're, you're going to know how to handle things like this. 3x minus 2 equals 7. That's a radical equation. So lots of different types of equations. And I'm going to give you actually one more here. Okay, 2x plus y equals 8 x minus 3y equals 1. I'm kind of just kind of writing this quickly. Uh, we're not even going to talk about how to solve these. I'm just kind of giving you, um, again, an overview. Okay, so let me ask you this. Do you recognize what this is? Okay, well, this is a system of equations. Okay, so how we approach this is completely different than how we approach this and how we approach this and how we approach this and even this <laughs> okay that's a lot of this is <laughs> and i don't mean to uh, be kind of like redundant and it's kind of race all of this but i do need to stress okay what i just laid out there for you is going to be probably one half of what would be in an algebra one course so let's talk about it here let's lay them out so we have linear equations quadratic equations systems um rational equations and radical equations. Generally, these are um, individual chapters uh, in algebra, okay? So you're gonna have to be an expert in equations for sure. Another thing uh, that you're gonna need to really know how to uh, handle um, for this exam is uh, lines, okay? So graphing lines, graphing, and I'm gonna say writing, okay? now. I'll tell you what I mean here in a second. So graphing linear equations. So if I told you to graph this here, okay, you should be able to know how to graph this on the xy plane, okay? If I told you to find the equation of a line where the slope is negative 7 and it goes to the point 2, 8, you need to be able to take this information and give me the y equals mx plus b 
the linear equation from that input. Okay, that's what we call finding the equation of a line or writing an equation of a line. So you have to know how to find the equation and you know, need to know how to graph uh, the line. And there's a lot, this is a huge topic in, um, in algebra. You're going to need to know how to master that for sure. So let's see here. That's some other things that you're going to need to know. Um, you're going to need to know how to deal with radicals. So if I have like this, the square root of 90, and I tell you to simplify the square root of 90, you're going to need to know how to do that. So in other words, you're going to need to know that this square root of 90 is equal to the square root of 9 times 10, which is equal to the square root of 9 times the square root of 10, and this is going to be equal to plus or minus 3 times the square root of 10. Okay, so if you don't even know what I did there, again, this is the kind of stuff that you're going to have to study for this exam. So radicals, and I'm going to be leaving, I'm sure I'm going to be leaving uh, some things out. Let's put some other topics here. Percent, okay, percent, okay, you need to know how to handle all types of percent questions. Not just basic percent, not like what's 6% of 300. That's really easy. What I'm saying is... Um, 12 is what percent of 1800, things like that, okay? More, you know, uh, involved percent questions are going to be on there. Uh, basic geometry. Basic geometry is typically a part of an Algebra 1 course. Uh, not too much geometry, but, you, you know, things like uh, finding the area of a circle. You're going to need to uh, want to know the area of... Uh, uh, the triangles, those type real basic uh, geometric formulas you need to be very familiar with. Um, another thing, let me kind of uh, go down here, is basic probability. Okay, uh, so you need to be familiar with that. The, these are typically topics that are in um, Algebra 1. So this is kind of like a pretty good, well, probably um, what I just laid out for you here with all these different type of equations and whatnot, I'm probably covering uh, probably at least 90%, if not more, okay? If you if you knew all of these topics and you were really, really strong in them, you would do very well on the Accuplace or Elementary uh, Algebra exam, okay? But here's the deal. Um, even students that I taught that were good students, uh, you know, when they go through this course, only a, f a small percentage of them really mastered all this material because in mathematics, you start off, let's just kind of look at it this way, okay? We take pre-algebra in middle school typically, and then you take algebra one, and then later on you'll take algebra two. So hopefully most of you are familiar with this type of thing, right? So pre-algebra in middle school, algebra one in high school, and then algebra two again in high school. When you take pre-algebra, it's like an introduction to algebra uh, one, okay? When you take Algebra 1, you're basically redoing pre-algebra, and then you're learning new things. When you take Algebra 2, you're basically redoing Algebra 1, and you're learning new, more complicated things. So, my, well, now the reason why I'm telling you this is that it takes several years to really, you know, comprehend and retain this information. So just because you've seen it once, don't trust your retention. You're going to have to get immersed in this, and it's worth it, okay? Remember, you know, there's a lot at stake, you know, when you're taking the Accuplacer, and it, it definitely makes sense to, to study for it. The key to do well on this exam or, or to really um, uh, do, do excellent but have a good pl study plan is to get the right study material, get the right teacher, okay? So you don't want to be kind of dragging your feet you know, by not having good study material and not having a good game plan, if you will, okay? Because then your strategy really is just, you know, hoping that you can pass this exam, and that's not going to be good, okay? So hopefully, you know, this uh, video helped you out. Again, if you like my teaching style, i got a ton of videos on my uh, YouTube channel. Hopefully, you'll consider subscribing. Lots of algebra videos that will definitely help you out. Um, if, again, you want a more formal, customized course uh, for this, I'll leave a link in the description. You can check that out. If you enjoyed this video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And leave me some feedback. It's the only way I know how I'm doing. Um, again, I'm branching off. I help a lot of students, adults in different areas, uh, different types of tests, GED, high set. Just ex a, there's, a, there's a huge need out there for, for people uh, to learn mathematics outside of just high school or just going to college. There's a lot of people who are trying to get 
their high school equivalency or they're trying to place into different programs and they really do need a lot of help. So hopefully, you know, that's my passion. Hopefully I'm helping you out. With that being said, I definitely uh, appreciate your time. I wish you all the best and have a great day.